miss the Subzeru's festival, right? Let's hurry and find Dunyarzad. Paimon thinks she must be around the Grand Bazaar, since she showed us around there last time. Just as promised, Traveler and Paimon. I'm so glad that you two came back to celebrate lesser... <laughs> Indeed. The festival's tomorrow. We've been preparing for so long that I can't help but feel a little nervous. There's no need to be nervous. Paimon's sure that Lesser Lord Kusanali will feel everyone's gratitude. <laughs> Thanks, Paimon. I hope that everyone who comes to the festival will also have a good time. Speaking of which, um, did you manage to make your way to Port Ormos? Discover anything over there? Of course we went! A lot of things happened there. <sighs> I see. Sounds like you two had another exciting adventure. If there is another chance, I would love to join. <sighs> My lady, if you went to Port Ormos in your current state, we'd both be in for a lifetime of trouble. It's called covert protection. Keeping an ear out for what's going on around my employer is part of the job. It's all right, Dia. I merely said I would like to go. I know better than to think my body could handle it. <sighs> the festival's tomorrow. I've been doing nothing but causing trouble for you. So Dia, please take some time to relax. I'll be fine. Mm, even when you put it that way, it still doesn't feel right. Don't worry, my guardian knight. <sighs> okay, fine, but only tonight. Tomorrow's a big day, and many no-good scumbags are gonna try to take advantage of that. <sighs> oh, uh, you two must be exhausted from your long journey back to the city. Uh, my apologies for not realizing this sooner. I've already prepared a room for you to rest. Please follow me. Whoa, you're so thoughtful. Paimon's so ready. I've got great food and great drinks. Fateful offering. Wherever in this world.
carry memories of my home. This blade. It is the last link I have to the land of my birth. Also fairly close to where I've been staying. It looks really nice. <laughs> Not at all. It, just tell me more about your adventures when you next get the chance. That's Paimon's specialty. Paimon can tell you stories next. Oh, if you don't mind, how about we all walk around together tomorrow? All of my friends will be working the festival. And Dia is still insisting on her covert protection. Yeah, it'll be pretty hard to relax and enjoy the festival if Dia's constantly hovering over you, right? Then let's meet at the nearby bazaar first thing tomorrow morning. Have a great night. It's a deal. Good night, Dunyarza. I may be too excited to fall asleep tonight. Paimon's starting to really look forward to the Sub-Zero Festival. Oh, no, no. Thinking about food is just gonna keep Paimon up all night. The earlier we sleep, the better. Let's go. Ah, did we oversleep? We should go meet Dunyarzad, right? Time to go. Traveler, Paimon, I've been waiting for you two. Good morning, Dunyarzad. We must have overslept a little bit. <laughs> Not at all. I arrived early. Oh, today is finally here. I must cherish every moment as if it were gold. You've worked so hard for this day. You gotta enjoy it to the fullest. <laughs> you know it. Oh, it's just that, um, as expected, I had some trouble falling asleep last night. I'm hoping my body won't be too much of an issue today. Well, but shall we? Let's start with the stalls of... Many vendors came out of the blue to support the event, and they insisted on covering costs themselves. Let's go give them some business. They paid for everything out of pocket? Oh, sounds like they're not in this just for the Mora. <laughs> they all said that contributing to a lively festival atmosphere is more important than money. Especially since we don't often get to celebrate Lesser Lord Kusanali's birthday. Ooh, they're selling food over that way! Let's go take a look! This is a stall offering foods from the Haft Mewa feast. Oh, you could tell straight away. I thought most people nowadays wouldn't know. Mushrooms, flowers, and all kind of fruit? It's all vegetarian stuff. Oh, Paimon's a little disappointed. So, what's the Haft Mewa feast you mentioned just now? It's another sub festival tradition. People used to set their tables with seven different foods. Generally speaking, the most common selections were foods like Rukushifa mushrooms, lunar lotuses, Sumero roses, sunsetias, kapalatas, hara fruits, and zaytun peaches. So, the sub festival is a vegetarian holiday? <laughs> you don't have to be a vegetarian to enjoy the spread. We just use the seven foods to symbolize the seven virtues of the Dendro Archon. Wait, but if that's the case, if Sumero uses vegetarian food to represent the Dendro Archon, then wouldn't 
the Pyro Archons Festival be full of food like roasted fowl, juicy meatballs, grilled steak? Oh, Traveler, we have to go to Natlon as soon as possible! <laughs> I hope your wish comes true one day, Paimon. Thanks! Alright, how about we also check out some of these other stalls? Dear customers, would you like to try your hand at alchemical divination? What's alchemical divination? Those two things sound like they'd be fun to try together. Right? I thought the same when I first heard about it. It is said to be a mysterious craft invented by none other than Lesser Lord Kusanali herself. So, how does it work? It's quite simple. After you give me any two alchemical reagents, I'll use them to perform a random transmutation. Sure sounds random. So random that it will probably fail. That is precisely what we need. After the transmutation fails, your one and only diviner here will interpret the remnants. Well, according to Lesser Lord Kusanali, everything is interconnected. And all that occurs can be traced back to fate. You could say this is a pearl of old wisdom. Why does everything sound so much more credible when Dunya Azad says it? Are you guys working together? So that's the true wisdom behind it. This young lady sure knows her stuff. So, how about it? Want to give it a try? Okay, one moment. Hmm. Paima wants to take a look too! Uh, is it? It looks more like a pie that Paimon bit into. Hmm. Generally speaking, the moon signifies... It means... Uh, wait a moment. Is he really looking it up in a book? Oh, I remember now. It means illusions and lies. Illusions and lies? That sounds rather ominous. Yes, but this book says that if you trust your intuition and overcome your fears, the sun will surely rise. He's not even trying to hide his book anymore. Naturally, fate will only ever show you the beginning of a journey. It is up to you to forge your own ending. <laughs> Oh, thank you so much. I'll keep that in mind. Oh, it's nothing. I'm just learning as I go. <laughs> uh. Guess that was still pretty interesting. Okay, on to the next stall. They say the sub Festival was very lively a long, long time ago. Large flower carriages used to parade through the city. As they headed towards Port Ormos, people would throw flowers, candy, and liquor all along the way. Dunyarzad's eyes are sparkling right now. <sighs> I wish I could have seen that spectacle. But if you ask me, I'm sure Nilu's dance of Subzeros will be just as impressive. Attention! Soldiers, fall into formation if you want any Yalda candies. It's a weird guy with a weird hat! Hey! It's two years old! Wow! wow. <laughs> Miss Dunyarzad, the children love you even more than the Yalda candies. In the few short days it took to prepare for the Sabzerus Festival, the children have all grown very fond of you. Uh, um, the Hallowed Knight of Flowers. It's an honor that you know my name. <coughs> Attention! In the name of Ferris, the Knight of Flowers, I commend you on your contributions to the glorious Sabzerus Festival. 
All right, little soldiers. Take your Yalta candies and don't forget your loyalty to Lesser Lord Kusanali. Dismissed! Yes, Knight Ferris! Uh, just what is going on here? <laughs> Ferris, the Knight of Flowers, is another Subzeris Festival icon and one immensely popular with children. In the past, the actor portraying Ferris would also sit on a flower carriage. It's all thanks to Miss Dunyarzad's sponsorship that the children can make such wonderful memories today. As are we to you, Vihar. <laughs> oh, not at all. Oh, speaking of tradition, do you want some Yalda candies? They're a festival staple, and I happen to have some boxes readied here. Take a look and pick whichever one you want. Whichever one? Um, don't these boxes all look the same? <laughs> that is the fun part. Each box contains a random flavor. It's up to the luck of the draw. Flavors include lavender melon, hara fruit, sunsetia. Ooh, those all sound pretty good. And there's also lizard tail and oni kabuto. Huh? What's up with those two flavors? Oni kabuto is a little spicier than lizard tail. Tanyarzad, you tried them before? It's all right. Paimon believes in you. I also believe in your intuition. Great! These boxes of candy are numbered one to five from left to right. Which one do you want? Attention! That's unfortunately horror fruit. The Sunsetia flavored candy was in box number four. How about this? The most important thing is that everyone has a good time at the festival. So please, take both boxes. Really? Thanks a lot, N It's Night of Flowers, not Night of. <laughs> Paimon really wilted the carriageless Night of Flowers. They all basically sound the same. We got our candy, so let's keep going. Oh, uh, actually, I just remembered that I left something behind. Um, since you're here, can you come with me to get it? Dunyarzad, you probably forgot because you're so... <laughs> uh, how Too late. Who knew the little lady was such an early riser? I know, right? Hey, wait a minute. Puss! Isn't that her? Oh, that most certainly is. We're in luck. She's walking right into our clutches. Those Aramites don't look like they're up to Who are you? I don't believe the Homayanis hired you. <laughs> That's right. We haven't received any of their mora, but... I wonder how much the Homayanis would shell out to get... They're a gang of kidnappers! Traveler, hurry and protect Dunyarzad! Hey, did you scumbags even consider that the Homayanis might have hired a merc that outclasses you? You're... Dia! Dia the Flame Mane! No wonder we mercs haven't heard anything about you for so long. You sold your- Don't speak so disrespectfully. My family started working with her as gratitude for her past kindness to us. Don't worry about it, my lady. Just some friendly banter between mercs. One punch and those rabid dogs will ex- <laughs> Aren't your claws all dull by now? Don't get- Traveler, take Miss Junior's- No! Please be careful, Dia. Don't waste your time worrying about me. This is my job. Look out for yourself. Ch 
Time to go. Dinyarzad, are you okay? You look a little pale. Are you in shock? Uh, yeah, I'm fine. My body always reacts like this whenever I exert myself too much. You sure you're okay? I'll be fine after some rest. I'm more worried about Dia. After all, none of this- Yeah! Don't worry! My lady. Traveler. Found ya. Dia! You took care of them so fi- Any more of them? Or rather, did anyone follow you? Dia, your arm! Oh, this? I'm fine. It's just a scratch. Normally, they wouldn't have been able to land a hit on me at all, but I'm still getting used to this new greatsword. Please, let me take a closer look. Come on, it's nothing. Us mercs aren't as fragile as you think. Hold on, you said something about a new greatsword. Uh, what happened to the one you were using before? Uh, about that. Well, I sold it, because I was low on Mora. Stuff like this happens every now and then. It can't be. The anonymous donation that was used for the venue's final round of preparations? <laughs> uh, hey, Miss Dunyarzad, I wasn't trying to make you cry, and I'm not gonna lose my commission because I made my employer cry, am I? <laughs> okay, making your employer cry won't affect your commission, but... Selling your weapon without permission and getting hurt? I'll have to reevaluate your performance. <laughs> You're so unreasonable, my lady. <laughs> Thank you very much, dear. <sighs> Don't be like that. I get embarrassed really easily. Traveler, kid, truly. I'm sorry for the. Tr few moments and I'll be good to go. I didn't realize you were concerned about it. I guess I shouldn't continue to keep it a secret. I was actually born with Elazar. It's terminal now. Can't believe it's Elazar! Oh, uh, you've already heard of Elazar. In that case, Sumero's current medical advancements still haven't been able to find a cure. The disease's progression can only be delayed through environmental- Dunyarzad! There's no need to be sad. I've always lived with Elazar and I came to terms with it a long time. Compared to the simple fact that I'm afflicted with this, its effects on my life have been much more- I know that my family loves me dearly. They've done all they can to provide the best environment for me, so that I can live for that much longer. However, I know I will one day succumb to this. Did you know? Before I ran away from home this time, the world outside of my home didn't even know that I existed. Since I was a child, all I could do was sit on my bed and stare at everything outside of my window. I'm sure my family's worried and disappointed in me for running away, but I... I just didn't want to have any regrets. I wanted to meet other people. To me, there's nothing more beautiful than being able to meet and speak with others. Not to mention the incredible time spent preparing for the festival. 
the joy on everyone's faces here, and all the support I've received from friends like Dia. This way, when my final day does arrive, it will be less sorrowful. At the very least, many people will remember that I once existed in this world, right? As long as you don't forget Paimon, Paimon also won't forget about you. Uh, no, even if you forget Paimon, Paimon will still remember you. <laughs> oh, thank you too so much. I apologize for the depressing conversation. This is... this is out of character for me. To be honest, Lesser Lord Kusanali gave me the courage to do all of this. If it weren't for her encouragement, thanks. There will always be frustrations in life, but I know that the point of living is not to leave behind any regrets. <gasps> oh, right! Isn't it almost time? Huh? Almost time for what? Isn't the dance of sub -Zerus about to begin? It's the part Nilu will recreate that legendary scene with her most splendid dancing. And the sub Festival will conclude amid everyone's applause and blessings. And with that, my wish- Then what are we waiting for? Let's go to the stake! Yeah, we should still make it a- Time to go. Were you not aware that the law prohibits this type of performance from taking place without prior permission? Over there! Someone's yelling at Nilu! I think I just saw the Academia's Grand Sage. Why is he here in person? But the dance of sub -Zeros is one of the key parts of the sub -Zeros Festival. If we can't perform it... The sub -Zeros Festival? The law also prohibits the private hosting of large-scale religious festivals. Only the Academia can host such an event. If you continue to resist, we will have to order an investigation into every single event organizer. The Grand Sage has already granted you much leniency. I advise that you exercise tact. How... How did things turn out like this? The Academia was originally responsible for the sub Festival, but they failed this responsibility for many years. I need to speak with them. This is a hard pill to swallow, but... You're right. Things would only get worse. Art. Dance. Aren't you ashamed of pursuing such frivolous and meaningless activities in this land of knowledge and reason? Our Archon created the utopia that is Sumeru City for all scholars who sought validity, verity, and truth, while people like you wish to defile it. No. I believe that our Archon never rejected the arts. Even the Goddess of Flowers dedicated a dance to her. With your lack of intellectual credentials, I do not believe you are qualified to debate with me. What you should be doing is finding workers to tear down this ridiculous eyesore. When we return, have the scribe draft an ordinance before the next Nyagarbaha day that prohibits public art performances. We will announce it to the public later via the Akasha. Understood. I will inform him when I return. Hmm. The sub -Zeru's Festival. Go celebrate the birth of that god to your heart's content. Nilu, are you okay? Oh, Dunyarzad. You all saw that just now? Yeah. Let's go somewhere the Academia can't find us and perform there. Uh, but how 
how do we... Or... We could get people to block them off so they can't interrupt the performance. Nilu, it's all right. But you've been looking forward to the Dance of Sub-Zero so much. And I know... It's okay. Seeing you care this much about my feelings is more... It would be too risky to continue the sub zeros festival at this point. If you say so. But... You can sneak out for the next sub zeros festival, right? <sighs> the next one. Yes. Okay. It's a promise. It... Paimon can't believe this is how things turned out! Those heartless geezers! It really is okay. There's nothing we can do up. <sighs> Still, I'd be lying if I said I had no regrets. <sighs> a lot happened today. It's a shame the festival and Nilo and Dunyarzad promised to make the next Sub Zero's festival a success. Yeah. All connections have been secured to construct the most stable. The project is entered its most critical...